there, it's Claire back again with a uh, part three of our series, Let's Make an ABC Primer mini album. I'm going to show you how to make the cover, or how to cover the cover, and take you through what you need first, and then we'll put it all together. So, I've used eight by eight papers. This is the ABC Primer paper, and this one is called the three R's and I've used both of those in the 8x8 size. And what I did was cut out the uh, main picture, square across the top and then just cut it out around the edge, and cut out three of the um, flashcards and one ruler. And then from the three hours paper, I've cut out a piece that is slightly smaller than our cover, and that's five and a half by eight inches and then I've inked the edges of the ruler and the large piece that we're going to use as the backing for the, photo, for the picture and inked all around the edges of the cutout and also inked the flashcards and those are all inked with um, vintage photo and then other bits and pieces that we used on the on the cover was the school days cut out from the large nursery rhyme sheet the 12 by 12 sheet I've used some foam tape this is quite thick black foam tape and some glossy accents I've just got a little one but that's uh, to highlight the letters on the school days cut out and then um, I'm not sure what the font is, but this is a Cuttlebug alphabet font and I've just cut out the ABC and painted them red with um, a brush marker or a Copic marker. I've used a Marvi brush marker. Okay, so let's move that over there. Make sure it's the right way up. So first of all we're going to put the base sheet down and I'm going to stick that with my, um, I can't think what it's called, glue gun. <laughs> so let me just do that. There's a few squeaks going on. I must remember I'm working upside down as well so. Always put some tape or glue across the middle of any large piece that you're sticking down so that it doesn't bubble up and then position that as centrally as you can. I don't measure it, I just okay. And then do the same for the cutout and that's going to go over the top. Let me just move that out of the way a minute. Glue gun's quite good, you can just sort of roll it around the odd shapes just by moving the paper around but keeping the gun stuck down. And then it's going across the middle. And then I'm just on this little bit at the bottom, which is the books, I'm just going to put some a little bit of wet glue just to make sure that it sticks. And then just rub that off with my finger because I don't want it coming off over the edges. And then I'm going to put that down. position it. You have to work out where you want it to sit. And then stick it down. Okay. Then I'm going to add the ruler at an angle across the bottom. And again I'm going to do that with my ATG. Oh, 
next week. And then just tuck under any tape that's sticking out of the edge or over the edge. Make sure it's the right way up and then just stick it down. And then with the school days words, I'm just going to put some foam tape across the back of that. So I'm just going to put, cut pieces off and stick them on. But I didn't use the tape all the way across. That just means you use a little bit less. One at the end. Peel off the uh, backing paper. Okay, make sure it's the right way up. And then position it where you want it to, to sit. Just try and line it up. Press that down. Now with the flashcards, I'm just going to put um, some wet glue on those. Just glue them all around the edge. And then just place them down again. Just press them down to make sure that they stick. And another one. Let's put that one across there. And then the last one. It's very quiet. And then just put that one. I'm going to just position it in between the holes on this side at a slight angle. And again, just press it down. Just for a minute. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just add my ABC. So I'm just going to put one up there, one here, and then one down at the, the bottom. So let me just stick those on. And then the C. I always get really covered in glue, which is not good when I'm using this. And that's the cover. And then what I did was use the matte multimedium. Claudine Helmuth, I think that's how you say her name, I can never remember it, and put it all over the um, this side of the cover just to seal it and then I used glossy accents and really carefully just went over the, the black writing on here just to uh, give it a bit of shine and raise it up and that was the cover. I just wanted to show you as well how I finished off the tags for the inside of the cover um, because I think the camera ran out when I was uh, filming part two so turn your cover over um, what I did was cut for my original tags 
I cut from the 12 by 12 Happy Go Lucky sheet, I cut out one of the square um, plates and trimmed it right down, took all the borders off and then inked around the edge and stuck that down. And then on the back I just put some note paper that I'd stained with the uh, vintage photo ink. And then one of the Stampin' Up tab, pen, tab tops on there just to finish it off. And then the photo mat, that was the original. On the back I put a small piece of note paper and from the Games at Playtime 12 by 12 sheet I cut out one of the characters, stuck her over the top and then put one of the tabs at the top just to finish that off. So I've done that one with that there. And uh, my paper hadn't arrived so what I did was cut this out of the um, another 12 by 12 sheet and thought I'd just have a different piece on here. So that one would fit over the top. And the note paper on there. And then I'm going to put another little character down here, I think. Mm -hmm. And that finished off those two tags. So I'll see you back again with part four very shortly. Goodbye!